Hi, I'm Nessie Ruiz and I'm going to show you how to set up your brand new Chromebook. Okay, so once you get it out of the box, you want to make sure you have the laptop itself and your power cord. So you want to plug this in before you start. The Chromebook may come with a little bit of a charge, but you definitely want to charge it up um, just, just in case you don't want it to run out of batteries, but uh, find the port. So this one happens to have a couple of ports on the side, um, the port here as well. So yours may not be exactly the same, but just make sure you find the right port <laughs> for your charger and plug that in. Then you're ready to get started. So when you open it up, you're going to find the power button. On this particular model, it's at the top right hand corner, the little power sign. So you're going to click on that first and let it boot up. Okay, it's going to boot up and then it's going to come to the welcome screen. Once you're at the welcome screen, you can pick a language here if you'd like to change it. So you just click on there and pick a language from the drop down. I'm going to stick to English. Press OK. There's also some accessibility options. So if you click on that, you can kind of read through here and see if there's anything you might need to help you see or, or hear better. If there's something that applies to you, just click on the little button until it turns blue and you can turn it off by clicking on it again. Okay. When you're ready to get started, press let's go. You're going to pick a Wi-Fi network. So if you have your own Wi-Fi, you should have your password handy. If you're at a local Wi-Fi, then just get the password and the Wi-Fi name from them. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my own. I'm going to select the Wi-Fi and then put in my code. Press connect and it'll connect to your Wi-Fi. Once it says connected, then go ahead and press next. So these are the Google Chrome OS terms. You can go ahead and read that. And when you're done reading it, you can re do the bottom here. So it's optional. Help make Chrome OS better by automatically sending diagnostic and usage data to Google. I'm okay with that, but if you want to turn it off, click on the button. Gray means off. If you want to leave it on, click it again. Press accept and continue. Once you get to this screen, you can put in your Gmail address. So that's either a personal Gmail address that you have that's like something something at gmail.com or if you have a work or school email that might have a different ending but is serviced through Gmail, you can put that in as well. If you don't have a Gmail address at this point, you can go to more options and click create account and it'll lead you through the process of creating an account um, and then bring you back to the sign in. I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address. And then press next. Put in my password. You would put in your password. <laughs> press next. So this is letting you know that Google Sync will sync up your devices. So whether you have a cell phone or a tablet or another Chromebook, your Chrome settings will be synced across all of your devices. When you're done there, press accept and continue. Here are your Google Play apps and services. Google Play is uh, like the app store that you can use to download apps. So this is the agreement for it. So you can read that. Make sure you have 
your correct language picked here. So again, I'm going to stick to English, but if you have a different language you prefer, go ahead and select that. Down here in the options, it's going to ask if you want to use Google Drive to back up your files. I suggest you do. Chromebooks don't have a whole lot of space, so it's good to just have them backed up automatically to the Google Drive. Then they're also available for you on a different device. Or if you get a new Chromebook, say your Chromebook crashes or breaks or you drop it and you need to get a new one. And if you've backed up everything, then when you open a new Chromebook, all your stuff will be there. So I would leave that checked on. When you're done, go over to the more button and click on it. And then you'll see use location. So it'll just like know where you are and um, give you settings and options based on your location. It's okay if you want to turn it on or leave it off. And press accept. So this will ask if you want to activate Google Assistant. You can always activate it later. I'm going to click no thanks. Because my phone and my Chromebook are both hooked up to my Wi-Fi, it knows that I have a phone. I'm going to skip that for right now, but feel free to press accept and continue and go through the setup process if you like. And here we are. Welcome to your new Chromebook. You can take a tour. I would recommend you do that. It'll walk you through some settings and things like that. When you're done, you can press X to close out of it and then have fun. If this video has been helpful, thank me with a thumbs up by pressing the like button and feel free to watch my next video on how to go through your settings and do things like change your background and other important things. All right, have fun.